Bonjour la classe et bienvenue à la leçon pour aujourd'hui. Um, so aujourd'hui, you're going to do two main activities. The first one is to copy down new vocab into your vocabulary notes. So earlier on this week, I told you to um, like start a blank page with the title of vocab notes for this unit or something like that. Um, and so you all said that you did it or one or two of you didn't which i don't know why <laughs> and then some of you have said that you're doing it on paper which is perfectly fine okay so either way you're going to take down some vocabulary notes this is similar to what we're doing in class today um, and then the second activity you're actually going to use those words to do a free write a 15 minute free write and so both of those activities should take you the class time and then you should be done um, so let's break this down a little bit. The first thing I want you to do is copy the vocabulary into your notes. So this meets our criteria because by the end of the unit, um, when you write your own story, this is one of the criteria that I'm going to be looking at. Have you always incorporated successfully recently learned words and structures? So today we're going to, I'm going to give you some Learn some words and structures that you're learning recently because of this unit. So take down notes and I want you to, um, I can't show you where the link is right now because I haven't put the link up on there, but I'll show you what this paper, this document looks like. And I want you to um, write it down in your notes. Um, if you're typing up your notes and that's fine, but don't just copy and paste. I want you to put these notes in um, an order in a sense in a way that makes sense to you And I want you to physically type it or physically write it so that you're engaging with the new words If you just copy and paste it's like taking a picture. It's like not engaging with it So I want you to try and learn it as you go um, In class we've got them on like little pieces of paper kind of like flashcard size um, but for you at home, it's probably just going to be easier to have in your notes. So I'm going to show you what that document looks like so you can double check that you have the right thing in front of you. I guess I've got tons of things up. Okay, here it is. Um, so it looks like this. Um, as you can see, because in class we've cut them up into like little flashcard sizes, sizes but you have um, phrases here, so new verbs, I guess, à rencontrer, à demander, à décider, porter, which is to wear like clothes, so porter, um, à dire, you know this one, this one's not new, à dire, so this means in your stories you can be putting quotations, so à dire, blah, 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 um, un sorcier ou une sorcière, oh, all right, let's just leave that for the time being. Marraine la fée, mm, new one. Une citrouille, very seasonal. Uh, des pouvoirs, mm, des pouvoirs. Une épée, le mal. Un fantôme, un sort. Combattre. Oui. And then this is a nice little phrase here. Le temps a passé et point 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 a apparu a disparu une baguette sauvé et un traître un traître. So. Um, you have access to, the, to, to this, so copy it down into your notes as you need to. And then, um, once you're done with that, so I don't know, that might take you 10 minutes or so. Once you're done with that, you're going to do a free write. So you can pause the video at this point and then come to the rest of the video um, as you want to. So when you do the free write, again, you're going to demonstrate that you can incorporate recently learned words and structures. So I want you to set your timer for 15 minutes. You're gonna write on paper or type it out. But either way, a free write means that you can write about anything. Our unit is about fairy tales and stuff, but you don't have to write about fairy tales. It's also Halloween, you could do a goose, 
Halloween themed or Halloween themed story if you want. But anyway, whatever you choose to write about, it's all in your own words. I don't want to see anything that may have been Google translated or looked up in a dictionary. The point isn't to you that this that kind of stuff, like looking stuff up or wanting to go into more detail will come like when you're doing some other kind of assessment. But a free write is literally just what's in your head and allowing your brain to um, think in French and to just write everything that you is going on in your head right now. Okay, everything that you already know. However, I also um, want you to use today the new vocabulary. So the list that you've just taken, have it right there next to you. I mean, if it's on the screen, have it on the screen in front of you and use that and then anything else that's in your head. So that's, those are the only things you can use, your own brain and the vocab, nothing else. Right, so, so set your timer 15 minutes and write as much as you can in French. Uh, put your word count on the top just because that's, kind of useful to see and keep track of your word count and then once you're done I want to see it I need to see your free write from today so either um submit it on who's this video going to this is going to you guys so yeah so I want you so you have to submit it on power school because the people that are doing it in person they've done it here in class so I want you to submit it on power school upload it um if it's a picture then on, if it's on paper then take a picture of it okay so the last thing I'm going to do is just leave you with a little bit of French so the last thing you're hearing is in French so get yourself all set up get ready have 15 minutes on your timer and I want the last thing that you're going to hear to be French and then you're going to start writing I'm going to end the video and when you're done you upload your free write to me okay okay there you go alors il était une fois il y avait un garçon qui s'appelle Pierre. Pierre habitait dans le désert. Il habitait en Algérie dans le désert. Pierre habitait seul. Il n'avait pas de famille. Il n'avait pas de famille. Des, des amis. Pierre était triste. Très, très triste. Pierre voulait un ami. Il voulait un ami. Alors Pierre voyageait. Pierre voyageait à pied en Afrique. Il cherchait une amie. Pierre a rencontré un lion. Mais le lion était méchant. Alors, le lion n'était pas l'ami de Pierre. Alors, Pierre continuait, continuait. Et Pierre continuait à être triste. Super triste. Un jour, il a rencontré une marraine la fée qui s'appelle Marie. Marie a dit Bonjour Pierre, je suis ta, ta marraine la fée et je vais te donner un ami. Pom, pom, pom. Ok, classe, allez, écris en français 15 minutes. Allez.